Yo, 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 what is up, guys? Welcome back to another one of my videos. Sorry, my voice is gone. I have just been at a summer camp for about a week. It was awesome, great experience. I would definitely recommend it. Um, if you're into Christian youth camps, if you're a Christian, even if you're definitely not a non-Christian, go to one. I'm gonna pop the plug that. But religion and other things aside, I got back today which would be a Friday afternoon. Um, a lot of my stuff has been being put out earlier in the week, so I wasn't expecting to get anything, so I just went to Walmart, doing some other stuff, stopped by the cars to see if they had anything, and boom, they had some of these. Um, I got two of them, because there's a two car per limit. I w ran over to Target, also to check them, and I got end up getting f a total of six of these and two of these. Um, I left some for other people. Um, I don't, I didn't want to, I'm not a huge fan of the Mosaic, but I'm here to be proven wrong. Um, this is the first year they've ever come out with Topps Chrome Merlin. It is for the Champions League and Europa League. Uh, the Blasters uh, uh, layout is exactly the same as Champions League Chrome with uh, seven packs, or no. Yeah, seven packs per box, four cards per pack with exclusive three uh, card bonus pack of Aqua Prisms. Not... Prisms, prisms, not prisms, different spelling. But yeah, I can't wait to get into this. Um, it's a blaster. Hobby boxes go about for 225. It released while I was at camp, so I had I honestly don't know too much about the checklist. I don't know about the inserts really. I don't know too much about the hobby versus the retail. I don't know what you can pull out of here. All I see I've only watched one video and it was on retail and I saw a guy pull an autograph out of the two box one of the two boxes. So I I'm assuming it's just like um, Champions League Chrome ish, you know, that type of product. But yeah, I'm super excited. Like I said, I'm kind of going into this blind, so sorry if I don't know everything about it already, but I'm going into it kind of blind. Haven't done to my research yet. So, pack design, box design looks great. Um, here are the odds if you are interested. So, super factors, other stuff. Let's pull some let's pull some awesomeness. So this is the design. Um it's designed like the stickers. It is a really nice design, I think. I I like it. Um it reminds me of like a football sticker, which is exactly what Merlin is, is a football sticker company. But um Yeah. So our first card, start off with a Ferran Torres. A very nice rookie to get, Kamavinga, Mitchell Backer, and a Thomas Party, which you can see Arsenal are in Europa League. So it specifies if they're Europa League or Champions League. So, yeah, nice one to get with Kamavinga right there. We will sleeve up him up. Hopefully the quality control is a little better. Here's what the back looks like. Really interesting. I, I like the design personally. I know some people aren't a fan compared to the normal Chrome, which I, I still would say I probably do think Chrome looks better, but it's still a sweet design. Kenneth Taylor. We got a um, Sar, Zanolo, and a Wizards of the Pitch Neymar. So that's a really cool card. I'm assuming that's an insert card. Um, not necessarily a refractor or anything special, but... It's a really cool car. I like the feel of these cars. They feel really nice. So that's a cool, that's a nice card to get. Going to be opening four of these on camera, two off. Just, I do enjoy opening stuff off camera. RV Barnes, Perez, and a refractor of Curtis Jones. A nice one to get, especially as a Liverpool fan. So definitely bigger borders and a little bit of different design. So you definitely have to watch out for centering a lot with these cards, probably. Jao Felix, Aronson. It's a nice one to get. American. Kulisevsky. And we have a under-23 insert of Mason Mount. It's a really cool card to get. Um, Let me look at some of these insert odds. Um... 
So let me flash that open. So I don't know how common these are, but it's saying that you can get rookie variations. So that's image variations. Those are freaking impossible, it looks like to get. So these are one in every seven packs, so basically one per box. Um, Wizard of the Pitch is one every 10 packs. So a little more rare. Um, and that's all I'm seeing so far for insert wise. I'm sure there's other inserts, or maybe there isn't, but really sweet looking insert. I really like it. I really like like this insert for sure. Um, let me get a different sleeve for it. Sorry if I'm taking a little long, but this is my first look at the product, so I'm going slow on this first blaster. It might be a little bit of a longer opening. I hope you'll like you have to stay here and watch everything. You don't. Timber. Ooh, nice one here. Mukoko. Really nice word to get. Harry Kane. And a Tino Ajorn. So, we get a Mukoko on his sleeve. I don't know how often color pops out of here, too. I know you get numbered cards, autographs, etc., etc. Looks like we got a number of cards because of the devil. So, I would imagine probably like one per box. Leicester City. And we got a James Madison Blue Refactor. I'd imagine that'd be the 150. 75? Ooh. Short print. That's a nice one to get. Team color match, too. So, yeah. Obviously, I haven't done my research with this set. You couldn't tell. But I definitely will be looking up more later today. But that is a nice, sweet-looking card. James Madison Blue Refractor, number 2875. So, definitely the head of the box so far. Hadara, Gabrielle, and an Erling Holland Refractor. That's a really nice one to get. Always good to get Holland. So Dortmund, I was like, maybe could it be a Jude or a Mokoko? So these are what the blue wave or teal wave prisms look like. Brendan Williams. Boom! Jude Bellingham. And Jurian Timber. Beautiful cars. Centering, obviously, a little off. So that's a bummer, but... I'm looking at, for any flaws, these cars look pretty... Like, other than centering, that's probably going to be the big thing. And probably maybe print lines. These cards look pretty well. Um, They look to have better quality control, I should say. Than um, some of the previous products that I have opened on this channel from Tops this year. Which I can't complain about what I got out of those. As if any of you have watched my pre previous videos. You know, I've had my fair share of luck with products this year. Yeah, so great first box. Really happy with that. Got some of the big rookies. Canavinga, Mukoko Base, Erling Holland Refractor, Drew Bellingham Teal Prism, and a James Madison to 75. So I don't know what the, the resale is on these boxes yet. I haven't looked up any of the eBay stuff like that. I haven't looked up the singles, how well they're selling. But it will be in this, another cool base set to put together for sure um let me grab a trash can here we go we got tavernier the english right back for rangers who destroyed the league this year with stevie genius charge we have baro rookie pellegrini and a ansu fati refractor for barcelona nice one to get unfortunately he's been injured but yeah see Definitely, centering is going to be an issue on these. Other than that, Conrad de la Fuente. Now, I do know it is a 100 card base set. And we got, it look, almost looked like an autograph. Ooh, Rafinha. So, boom, we got an autograph. Wasn't expecting that. We got one of Rafinha, the Brazilian midfielder for. PSG. So, put 
that in a top loader. But to get in there there we go this is what the back looks like nice wasn't expecting that i was happy with i'm happy with the autograph so that is what the autographs will be looking like maldini erling holland base kareem benzema and the adiemi base I think he's a decent rookie, has a lot of potential. You can say that a lot about a lot of those young stars, though. All of them have potential to be great. And, you know, then they could be, they ended up could having a long, illustrious career. But, like, it could be just, like, an okay career. Like, you know, a solid player, but nothing to end up crazy about them or anything. Perrin. Gareth Bale in a Tottenham uniform. Billy G. We got a refractor of Messi. Nice. That is a beautiful card to get. Lionel Messi. Refractor. That is awesome. That is a top loader worthy card, even though that means we're probably going to run out of top loaders. That's a nice one to get. Boom. Messi. And we'll sleeve up Billy G. There's some potential with him there. Really liking this product so far. I like the look. I think it'll be a lower end of all the chrome ones. I think I think Stadium Club and Normal Chrome and Finest will all be higher end products than this one. But I really like the look of it so far. We got a Saka. And then we got a U23 Mason Mount. I swear we just got him. So that's unfortunate. We already get into doubles and stuff. Especially with inserts. Like, if it was base cards, I wouldn't be as mad. That's unfortunate. Giovanni Reina. Roberto Lopez. Alfonso Davies. And a Wizards of the Pitch. Milinkovic Savic. For uh, Lazio. The... I want to say it's Serbian. Serbian center midfielder. Box box. I think it's Serbian. I could be wrong. It's a Balkan. Balkan one. Oop, sorry. Hit the camera there. Kenneth Taylor. Again. We got a Neymar Jr. Christian Pulisic. And a Ageless Alchemy. Viali. So this is an insert of some sort. Um, I didn't see this on the box. Let me check and see how rare these are. Um, I don't know if they're particularly rare or anything, but... Um... Wizards of the Pitch. Aegis Alchemy. One in every 21 pack. So one in every three box. So definitely one of the rarer inserts to get in the set. That's for sure. Um... on to our final pack. Dybala. Barrow. And Theo Hernandez. So nothing crazy in going on with those guys. I'm trying to use up these uh, premium sleeves I got from Walmart before I put them in the nicer sleeves. Like the ones that have more room. Because these ones are fit too super tight. So... It's hard getting them in there. I don't want to, like, they'll probably end up damaging corners more. And I don't feel like slitting them with my X-Acto knife that I can't find. So, yeah. So, overall, a really nice blaster again. Uh, these have been really fun to open, for sure. I've been hitting, like, fair share of good cards out of there. Like, that one had the messy the autograph. No numbered card in that one, so they're not guaranteed. But, you know, you're pretty much getting one hit. Or so per box, I guess. Another nice one to get, Kamavinga. 
Sun Human, Gabrielle, and a Tang Tang Gang Tanganga rookie card, rookie refractor from Tottenham. Never heard of him, and he's at Tottenham, so speaks for itself. Sorry, Tottenham fans out there listening, but your club isn't the most known for success, fortunately for you guys. Graven Birch, really nice one to get. Uh, Ramos. We got a Marley Ake. And a U23 of Alexander Isaac. Really nice one to get. He did really well in the Euros. Played fantastically for Sweden. Graven Birch, another good one to get. Trying to see more double, more and more doubles now. We got Arena, Perez, Musiala. So we're another really nice one to get. And we got a some kind of numbered, a Ferran Torres, Aqua number two, one ninety nine. So not bad, not bad at all. Put that there. Um, put him there. De La Fuente, Upa Makano, Zen, uh, Califori, Califiori, and a Lewandowski, Wizards of the Pitch. So that's a nice one to get. Really nice looking cards. Love the sticker look to all these cards, that's for sure. Maldini again. Fofana, Jao Felix, and a Curtis Jones refractor. I'm pretty sure I already got it as I think one of the same refractors I pulled in my first pack. So that's kind of unfortunate, but still a nice refractor to get. Nice. Jude Bellingham, base card. Nice one. Having Reese, Mike Mitchell Backer, and a Ronaldo base card. So we'll sleeve up that Ronaldo. And we will sleeve up that Jude Bellingham. Final pack of the third blaster before we get to the other one. Serginio Dest. I mean, by the other pack, I mean like the other. Pack. Tavernier, Saar, and Mindy. So nothing crazy in that pack. Finally, we have a Trincao, a Truben, and a Zhao Felix. Definitely not, not bad ones to get at all. Zhao Felix, um, not, didn't do necessarily the... Greatest, in my opinion, for Portugal. I didn't watch all their games, but definitely Ronaldo and their one center defensive mid, I thought, stood out. Um, maybe it's just me being biased, though, because that's the position I played. On to our final blaster of this opening. I'd just like to put this out here, out there. I think that we'll be getting more of these blasters. I did pass. Like I said, I left some behind, because I didn't want to, like, overcommit and get too many in case I didn't like this product, but I really do, so. Sorry, you will be seeing this product some more. We'll just kind of skip through the base. Rainier Jesus, Kulosevsky. I think it was, yep, Francesco Trincao. Um, refractor from Barcelona. Now on loan at, was it Wolves or some, I feel like it was some English club. I don't want to spoil it. Ravenbridge again. That dude. The Doku. Rookie card. Really nice one to get another Aronson. Doku and Gravenbridge. Really nice to get Doku. Was doing really well at the 
Euros for Belgium, in my opinion. I just think he needs to work on his passing a little more, and, um, especially short passes and stuff. Because if he, if he can execute those passes just a little bit better, he'd definitely be assisting a lot more and creating more chances. But he did great at destroying uh, the defense of certain teams. Kane, Ajorn, and Ajao Felix, Wizards of the Pitch. Next pack. De La Fuente. Ferran Torres, Gabriel. And a Gabriel Martinelli, rookie refractor. Really, really good young player. Bright future ahead of him. The only problem is Arsenal. It's always one word. It's Arsenal. Harvey Barnes. Curtis Jones. Hidara. And a Donnarumma, under 23. Did fantastic at the Euros. Beautiful card. Good to see goalkeeper getting recognized for their talent. I didn't see that back card because it ended up being a numbered one. Maldini. Neymar Jr. Or, I mean, Kylian Mbappe. Okay. And, ah. Uh, I don't know if Pedri's in a set, but wrong Barcelona rookie. Conrad de la Fuente. Number two, 299. Hmm. Weird. Upping the numbers on some of these. Print one watch. Print run wise. We'll put him in a top layer for now, along with Ferran Torres, in case we don't get any big bangers in these last few backs. So yeah, print run definitely seems to be up if they're purple, it's to two ninety nine instead of two fifty. Um, it's unfortunate, but that's a tops issue, and there's nothing we we as collectors can do about that other than not buy the product and. We know that's not going to happen anytime soon. Collectors, we will always end up buying the stuff. Right. So, unless it's just an outrageous price for an outrageously bad product. Serginio Dest. A Mukoko. Another Mukoko rookie. Nice one to get. Edward and Kelly Fiore. So, nice end to the, that last pack. And let's get straight into We got Alfonso Davies. Koulibaly. Kaledo Koulibaly. The center, div, uh, center back for um, Napoli. Beast. And Noah Okafor. Um, rookie for Red Bull Salzburg. Don't know him, or is it Red Bull? Yeah, it's FC Salzburg. Don't know too much about him, but I'd, I guess I'll do my research and be looking up the checklists and stuff like that. So thank you for watching the opening. Hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. These cards look amazing. I think they look awesome. Um, if you see any of these up at your Target or Walmart, like I said, I picked, I picked four up from Walmart because I was there with a friend. I picked two up from Target. I left probably two at Target. Yeah, this too. I mean, this is some of the stuff that I got. So, some really nice cards to get for sure. Um, you got a nice stack of rookies here. Beautiful design. We can go here. We can go through some of the hits. Just some cool cards you can get in here. A lot of rookie, little rookie color inserts. Just stuff like that. So yeah, thank you for watching the opening. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll definitely be trying to get out more videos more consistently. It's, I a lot of times pre-record videos and wait to upload it. So that's what's been off with my consistency with uploading. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys got y'all have a great day. Great rest of your day and good pack luck. See ya.